Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 13th, 2018. So my goodness, another day of whipsaw. We gap up in the morning and uh, move up about 450 points on the Dow and we sell off nearly 300 points in the last three hours of the trading day. So we are now five days, five days straight of very extreme whipsaw price action, um, where we, we gap one direction and completely reverse it before the end of the day. And that volatility continues to challenge us all as traders. Now, if you're a day trader and a very adept and very quick day trader, you could find yourself ha just having a great time in this market. But if you are a swing trader, position trader, or investor, this roller coaster ride is getting a little bit old. And Unfortunately, it's it's as if the market is just sitting sitting on the edge of its seat, waiting for the next news report so that it can reverse again. And that's kind of where we find ourselves this morning. Um, if we take a look um, at this price level of support, we've held on to that. That is a good sign that we've held on to that. And last night, if you happen to notice the futures, the futures last night were up as much as 110 points. And now this morning, um, the futures are really varying an awful lot, bouncing around quite a bit this morning uh, between uh, a, a slightly bullish open to a slightly bearish open. That could change once some of the news starts rolling out, uh, uh, jobless claims and things like that. But really fluctuating around the zero line here substantially this morning. So really anything is possible by the time we reach that open today. Um, as you can see, if we continue um, to rally, we've got resistance right up in here that we have to pay attention to. And then, of course, um, additional resistance levels above that we need to watch out for. However, if the sellers were to take over and if we lose this support, oh, it could get ugly really fast. So hopefully that doesn't occur. Hopefully we can hold in this area. And what we might actually be seeing is the market attempting to settle in um, a little bit here awfully certainly very wild price action but it would be really nice if this would just consolidate here it, um, if we could narrow that range of of movement in here and then just slowly consolidate and catch our breath and maybe build a support level where we can either um, rise from or fall from but give this an opportunity to relax just a little bit we'll have to wait and see but that would be a wonderful thing if we could consolidate and and, and drop out some of this wild volatility that we've seen here lately Let's take a quick look at the SPY. SPY, very much similar situation. Um, another gap up and drop at the end of the day. Again, here's our support levels. It's going to be extremely important to see these levels hold. If they happen to fail, uh, we could see some really quick selling. So watch that close. There'll be a lot of stop losses down in this area, and they, and they could strip out and really move the market quickly lower. Um, if we do happen to come off of here and rally, watch these resistance levels above. That'll be really important. And of course, our downtrend here will be very important to keep an eye on. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs, um, uh, once again, held up a little bit better than um, some of the other indexes, but we have a pattern here that I really don't like to see, and that is right here at this price resistance. You can see we poked our head through and then pulled back. Um, that could constitute a failure if this follows through today to the downside. We don't want to see that occur, but a failure at price resistance is about the last thing we want to see. So hopefully that doesn't occur. Um, now we want to catch some support right through here if we do pull back or right in here. Um, 
let's um, let's watch those levels really really closely and if we happen to consolidate here or find some kind of a bounce breaking through this level will be important for the for the Nasdaq we need to break through there hold some support level in here to give us some confidence of more upside move now keep in line I uh, keep in mind I have this downtrend line drawn right here but also remember that this downtrend is also here so um, any rally back up into here we still have to deal with uh, these downtrend areas and remember if you look at our um, moving averages you know we have developed a major resistance zone right in here so we'll want to stay very focused on that as we as we move uh, toward those resistance areas let's uh, take a look at IWM that poor IWM um, again a pattern here I do not like to see and that is a rally back up after a failure of support a rally back up to test resistance and now a resulting failure pattern possible right here at resistance you can see if we had another down candle in here this would turn into an evening star pattern and would suggest a test of the next level of support so hopefully that doesn't occur hopefully we can rally right back up get back above this area hold in here and we can start testing these uh, this downtrend we can start testing the next level of resistance higher let's take a look at the VIX doggone that VIX is just it's tenacious I gotta tell you it's tenacious it, even with the the big gap up and move yesterday it pulled back but it really didn't drop significantly so here we are um, in our uh, VIX just holding up in this range and um, notice if we were to get some kind of a failure it wouldn't be all that big of a stretch to think we could break out of here and panic really start to set into the market so hopefully that doesn't occur and please keep in mind that all it's doing right here is reacting to a price support level in the VIX if we can get some encouragement going and we can break that down it would be wonderful to bring that VIX back down into here losing some of that uh, volatility in the market we'll have to keep an eye on that let's uh, take a look at T21 22 whoops T21 22 the four-week new high new low ratio and you know at one point yesterday our uh, t2122 was clear up here we we had produced another one of those big spikes that i, I keep talking about we don't want to see those big spikes but then that 300 point sell-off or nearly 300 point sell-off in the afternoon on the dow brought us right back down here so we're still in that pretty good zone for that potential rally we've got room to the upside for sure um, obviously um, in this opened the door for a little bit of a pullback as well so kind of keep that in mind anything is possible here but we're in that zone down here where i'm kind of favoring the idea of a bullish move but we'll have to wait and see let's take a look at the economic calendar today our economic calendar we've got a couple things to pay attention to this morning jobless claims coming out here first thing in the morning along with import export prices um, don't expect the natural gas prices to move us around a bunch of bond announcements and auctions and then later today treasury budget and fed balance sheet money supply those uh, would be unexpected to move the market much at all but of course that jobless claim is a pretty big number um hey everyone i want to let you all know that tomorrow i will not be around i won't be able to do the morning note or the morning video uh, my daughter is graduating college yay my final child through college no more college bills and <laughs> i'm celebrating myself so i will not be available tomorrow um, i have to leave actually fairly early to um make all the ceremonies because she is actually graduating with honors and so we got a big to do that 
uh, that we're doing. So um, I will not be here tomorrow. So please be aware that we've got a couple big numbers coming out tomorrow. We've got uh, retail sales, industrial production tomorrow morning. That could really move the market around a little bit. And as we slide into the weekend, remember if this if we don't get some resolution on some of these political items. Um, then we're going to probably see some more volatility. And don't be at all surprised if uh, Friday turns out to be, uh, you know, folks um, risk taking risk off, um, running from the market as we head into the weekend because of the wild volatility. Holding on through the weekend may not be um, in the cards. So don't be too surprised if you uh, see that tomorrow. So I apologize. I won't be able to be here tomorrow, but I will be right back on Monday. Hey, a couple things to take a look at uh, for, for some stocks. You guys remember I've mentioned TRI. It tried yesterday to really push up, um, ended up at the end of the day with all of the selling pulling back. I'd also mentioned Johnson and & Johnson um, and J&J pushing up against this resistance and multiple times yesterday made an attempt to push through there, just wasn't quite able to get it done because of the just the way the market is acting. Um, that stock Etsy, however, Etsy went ahead and broke on higher, looking pretty good here. You might want to keep an eye on Etsy. I was uh, happily surprised to see that FireEye, after this ugly bearish engulfing candle here, found uh, some support off the trend. So we'll want to keep watching FireEye here for potential of breaking this upside and, and moving on out so we'll keep an eye on that and um, then MDLZ MDLZ I've talked about this several times after breaking this really long-term downtrend it started up yesterday but then once again that selling yesterday afternoon whipped us back down so we're seeing a lot of that going on right now um, you might want to take a look at some of the casino stocks. LVS, LVS trying to reverse that downtrend here. You can see breaking the downtrend, rallying up, pulling back, trying to show some higher moves here. And we're seeing the same thing in like wind casinos and um, MGM um, all having that bottoming price action may be worth keeping an eye on. So, hey, everyone, be very, very careful out there. Watch this market very closely because we seem to be just waiting waiting for that next reversal to occur on any news report um, and it could move very very quickly so hey folks if this is the first time you've seen these videos please 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 do me a favor click that subscribe button on youtube and the follow me button on facebook click those thumbs up buttons that makes such a difference uh, for me um, helping the algorithms to show these videos to more people and please take the time to leave a response any kind of response it helps a lot for those algorithms if everyone's talking about the video. So thank you very much for those of you who do take the time to do that. I appreciate you so much. You can't, you can't imagine. Thank you very much for all the kind comments. You guys always humble me with those comments. Thank you so much for that. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you great success. Never give up. And we'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bright and early Monday morning. Take care.